Sorry. Uh, I had to answer the phone there. I had to break this up, but okay. Continuing on here. Here's a FLIR pack. 1988 FLIR. Cool picture of the Astrodome. Astrodome's still there. I just went down there not too long ago. Um, of course, um, it's still there, but um, still deciding on what to do with the Astrodome. And uh, they sold all the seats out of it, and they're still trying to make it a historical site. But uh, I hope they keep it. I hope they do something with it. But uh, and I remember when that was, uh, when they first made that, that was everything. You know, and of course, after that, everybody was going towards the, uh, the uh, cookie-cutter stadiums like Cincinnati, Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, Three Rivers, and... Uh, you know, all the, all the stadiums, not domed, but uh, sort of the round stadium type. Uh, I hate to call them stadiums now. I call them ball, you know, ballparks, what they should be called. They are a ballpark, not a stadium. But uh, who's, George Brett, <laughs> Pine Tar. I guess they, George Brett's probably the best one out of there. Okay, and the rest goes in that jumbo box from uh, Walgreens. I collected the, the uh, this might have been one of the last years I collected what are these 80 89 yeah things were getting these are there were so many of them Jeff King remember him at the Pirates Dave Rigetti. What year is this? Going 82. Cool card. Old Cam Boyd. Another good one. Don Robinson. I don't know. Ugly card. Lenny Dykstra. Lenny Dykstra, boy, I tell you, he was supposed to be everything boy I, he come out and he had a great year or two then he just went by the wayside didn't hear nothing about him I saw this the other day 84 oh, the Bowman and uh, I don't know what you guys thought about the Bowman the, the oversized Bowman cars oh, boy I hated those they never went with anything I never cared for him. Mickey Hatcher. Junior Ortiz. Yeah, I watch you guys go through the packs just basically like this. It's kind of relaxing to me for some reason. You know. Oh, here you go. Kevin Millwood. What is this? A relic card. I'll be darned. Congratulations. You just received a card that contains piece authentic game ward jersey, which was used by Kevin Millwood. The Atlanta Braves, I'll be darned. Pretty cool. Set that aside there. Oh, well, there's another one, Game Gear. This is a bat, looks like a bat relic, huh? 
Raphael Foucault, I don't know him. Game used bat. Pretty neat. Like I say, I'm sorry about some of this, you know, in these uh, names and stuff, but uh, like I say, I'm more of an old. I mean, I go to the games now and I know some of the boys, I know a lot of the ball players now. Pete Rose don't like him. Uh, but yeah, that's that's it. Just a, another small thing just to, to tell you guys about. Like I say, I used to go to all the ball games with my dad and go to Forbes Field. And one of the biggest days that we would go would be uh, bat day. And here's my, my bat. I got this in 1967. My dad took me to the... Uh, so I would have been 11 years old, 10, 11, 12 years old. Um, and uh, you'd go to the bat day and you'd get a regular Louisville slugger. Now, the bats were a little bit, not really a lot smaller. I don't know. I would say, uh, I don't know where they use now, 30, I don't know what this would have been. But anyway, you can tell we took them right out and you can from all the marks on it, we would use them right away. And uh, we'd get this, and, and you'd always want to get one of the, your favorite players' uh, names on them, you know, and they'd give them out, and it'd be Clemente or Mazeroski or even Gene Alley, Don Clendenin, and uh, Jim Paglaroni of the, the Pirates. And uh, you wanted to get something. And uh, I remember I got uh, Manny Mota. And uh, Manny Mota was a utility player, and I wasn't really happy about that, but... Uh, you know, I liked Manny, Manny Mota, I liked all the Pirates, but uh, I was hoping to get uh, uh, like a Clemente or a, actually Bill Mazeroski is what I wanted. But as you went in, they just handed them to you and, uh, you know, you didn't know who you got. And, you know, I remember a lot of kids wanting to take hers back and get somebody else, but I never did. I just, you know, but we took them out and we used them. But like I said, this is like a 1967, the bat day there at Forbes Field. And uh, during Forbes Field, they would, uh, what they would do is they would, um, uh, I forget what inning it is. I don't think it was that inning, seventh inning stretch. But what they would do would uh, uh, they'd say, "Okay, all you all you kids uh, with the bats, you know, or during the, the uh, uh, in between innings, hold up your bats." And so everybody would hold them up. And I mean, you know, the bat day was packed. It was probably sold out. And uh, we would hold up the bats all the way up. But it was the neatest thing to to see. All this, it looked like a bunch of toothpicks all the way around the stadium. But yeah, so. That's one of the things, like I say, I want to show you. And hopefully in, in the future videos, I'm going to show you some more things. That uh, Anything from uh, bobbleheads. Well, they call them bobbleheads now, but uh, years ago we called them otters. But uh, anyway. Okay, everybody. Well, thanks for watching. And uh, please hit the subscribe button and uh, like it And uh, if you do. And, and uh, I'll show you some more videos. Thanks for watching.